Hi, I'm Peter Birch. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification button to keep up to date. Today, guys, we're going to be checking to see what my blue tongues are up to because we're expecting Charlie to have some babies and I think we've got some great news for you. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching Critter Cam. Welcome, guys. As you know, Charlie is expecting to have baby blue tongues. That's right, Charlie is my blue tongue lizard I've had for a very long time. Now, you can understand when you're keeping reptiles for long periods of time, it's all about dedication, passion, and true love of the animals. That's the reason why you should really be keeping animals, not because it's something cool, something that's making you go famous, or anything like that. It's about the passion and the love of the animals. And that's the reason why you get to keep animals for long periods of time. I am absolutely super pumped. You can't believe what I just found, and I've been waiting for this for quite some time. It's been super hot, big storm last weekend, a lot of rain, and still, my blue tongue, old Charlie Brown, has pulled through. That's right, Charlie the blue tongue. As you guys know, I've had Charlie for a very long time, and in fact, I just checked my records. We got her in 1993. Now, currently, it's 2020. So, if you guys work those numbers out, put it in a comment below because I'm not very good at numbers. Remember, I lift heavy things. Now, more importantly, guys, I just found Charlie. And Charlie looks slightly deflated than what she did only this morning. What an absolute beautiful girl. Like I said, she's been part of the family for quite some time. And the reason why she's deflated, guys, is right here. Look at that. Isn't that just absolutely <laughs> gorgeous? It's a feisty little baby blue tongue. Mother and Bubba. That is absolutely gorgeous. For you, for you folk at home that don't know, blue tongues have live birth. In other words, just like a cat or a dog, they have a clear membrane sac. But they come out, they tear their way out of their sac, it usually has a big chunk of sack that they've got to eat. That's their first feed. Big hit of protein to help them get going. That's gorgeous. Now they do have a lot more than one, so let the fun begin. Let's go looking. Look at them! Look at them! <laughs> They're everywhere! Oh my God. Little babies everywhere, look! Look! Mum's protecting them. Look! <laughs> and they say reptiles aren't maternal. It's okay. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> He's angry. See how many we can find. Come here, little fella. Two. Keep an eye on them. Don't touch. The reason why we've got to get them out is because Buffett's in here, the big male. I'm not sure how he's going to act. Oh man! <laughs> how many? How many do you think we're going to get? More. There's another one! Mama. Another one! Another one!
Now what usually happens with blue tongues, because the live birth process can take some time. Hey, hey, don't fight, big brother. They can actually drop them over a couple of days. So for the next couple of days, we're going to have to come and check on them. But this is the nest box. And there's that whole area out there that we're going to have to check also. Good work, Mama. I'm going to put some of this in here. So they've got somewhere to hide at the moment. Feel a little bit more secure. Good kids. Wow. You've done really well, Charlie. Ooh. Good girl. Let's go over here. Just like that, bingo. There's another bubba. <laughs> That's been a big yeah. Dad's out here hiding. He's like, I don't want anything to do with what's been going on. There's another one. Oh my gosh, guys. Aren't they just gorgeous? Can there be? There's another one. Another one. Wow. She's done really well. For an old blue tongue. Yeah, it's the wet soggy part out here. It's the wastelands. Garden skink just ran past. Yeah, that's great. There he is. That's Dad. Buffet. Look at the size of the noggin on that guy. Look at the size of that. Incredible. After the recent storm, I didn't want to disturb her because she was getting ready to have babies. I knew it was only a matter of time. And that will now give me the opportunity now she's had the babies to clean out this side of the enclosure because it got absolutely swamped and just made sure that they were nice and happy for those couple of days when we had no power and it was just pouring down in rain, just got them out, put them back and of course Charlie's now had babies, that's pretty awesome. So we're going to rip it apart, clean it all out, put all new bedding in, fix it all up, make it feel like a brand new home for these two. Don't you guys think that's absolutely amazing? These tiny little babies are ready to go. They come out, they hit the ground, and they're gonna look after themselves. No more need for mum and her big protection. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the snippet today and checked out Charlie and her babies. Make sure you leave a comment below. Hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, be good to yourselves. Thanks for watching Critic Cam.